Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm super excited about today's video. We are going to be playing around with the new Glowish by Huda Beauty, the multi dew skin tints, and I also have the new Glowish Soft Radiance bronzing powders as well. You guys know skin tints, tinted moisturizers, basically anything tinted is literally my jam. They're like my favorite products and you guys know how much I love tinted moisturizers. So this was like right up my alley. Um, when I found out that Huda was coming out with like tinted moisturizers, I was like over the moon. I was so excited. So I just wanted to get my mind off of everything and film and you guys know I've said it before. If I'm filming, it's because I want to film and filming makes me happy. So um, I also want to say thank you to everyone who sent their condolences and just well wishes and prayers and stuff to me um, on here, on Instagram, Twitter, DMs. I got so many messages. So thank you guys so much. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I thought I would sit down and film for you guys. So natural makeup has been my go-to for the last couple months. It's always been like my go-to um, because I would wear like natural makeup to work and stuff. And yeah, I'm so happy that this like natural look is very on trend right now. I have the little cards right here so I can give you guys some info about it first. I am going to be doing a demo. I am going to be doing a wear test showing you guys some like close-ups of how it looks on the skin and stuff and I feel like today's actually a really good day. I have a really painful breakout like right here. Um, I'm also breaking out like along my nose and my piercings covering it so thank god. Um, I think it's just because I had to go to Texas um, for my grandma and I think just traveling and stuff and being on the plane it was a nightmare. I hated being on the plane right now but um I think that's why my skin's kind of like freaking out. So yeah, so let me give you guys some info about this. So this will be launching on June 1st at HudaBeauty.com and at Sephora. Um, so this is like a new franchise from Huda Beauty. So it's still part of Huda Beauty, but it's just like a like part of it. So it's called Glowish and we have the multi dew Skin Tints and this is a light coverage tinted moisturizer packed with skin loving and protecting ingredients. Leave your complexion with a glowy, healthy looking dewy skin. Toda's beauty journey has evolved, so has her skin. With the inception of Wishful, she found her skin to be brighter, smoother than ever before, and as a result, she found herself leaning towards makeup that accentuates her natural features, braving away from her, tradi from her traditional cake face, Glowish by Huda Beauty was born. So it says that this blends seamlessly into the skin for an instant, smooth, dewy finish with light coverage. It's long-wearing, waterproof, sweatproof, and fragrance-free. I know a lot of people will be really happy to hear that. I think um, from moving forward, I think a lot of the products are going to be fragrance free um, since I know from before a lot of the products have been known to be very fragrant. Um, since then, uh, like the foundation stick doesn't have fragrance, the luminous matte now doesn't have fragrance, and now this doesn't have fragrance. So it defends against digital light rays which cause free radical damage, skin aging, and stress. So there's a lot of info so I'm trying to give you guys as much as possible. I'll continue. But this is what the box looks like. It's just as glowish. I love the like design on it. The little O, or not little, but the O is like holographic. And it just has some info on the sides, on the back. So let me open this up. The shades are on the top. I do have three shades. I have fair, fair, light, and light. And this is what the actual packaging looks like. So it's in a um, tube like this and it has a pump. The like lid, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, is like holographic or iridescent more so than holographic. And then the pump is actually really nice as well. It also has that iridescent tint to it. The packaging's really pretty. Like it's simple, but it's also really nice. It doesn't feel like super cheap. It does snap close. It does feel like it's secure. So that is the packaging. This will be retailing for $37 and there are 13 shades. This is like a light coverage like skin tint so um, I think 13 is pretty decent for what it is. Um, so it says you can wear it alone for an all over healthy glow. Apply to the center of the face and blend outward. Um, you can add your favorite foundation to boost luminosity to it. Um, and you can also, it says a little hood of tip, it says you can apply it to the high points of your cheekbones on a bare moisturized skin for a radiant natural highlight. So um, it does have Damascus rose oil, which helps soothe and nourish and moisturize the skin. It has squalene, I can never say this, squalene to help lock in and maintain skin moisture. 
Um, super interesting. It has red bell pepper extract in it, and it helps to protect against the effects of digital pollution, light rays, and it does have responsibly sourced mica to give the radiant pearlescent glow. Lowish, clean, naturally derived ingredients. It's not animal tested. It's vegan friendly. The packaging is made with post-consumer recycled material, and the cartons are FSC certified and 100% recyclable. So these. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of good things about this and that is just the skin tint. So I hope that wasn't like too much um, info at you. I'll also give you guys some info about the bronzers as well. I have the bronzers. Let me show you guys what they look like. I'll show you light. I think this might be the one I might use. Um, so this I'm really excited. Um, I'm always super excited to try new bronzers. Um, if you guys notice, I don't really... There's not too many bronzers I actually do like. If you guys notice, I really only use one or two bronzers and that's about it and like one or two cream bronzers. So I'm super excited for these. The packaging I really, really like on these. This is what they look like. These will be retailing for $31 and they are a soft radiance bronzing powder for anyone who wants to give their skin a velvety, bronze, and blurred look. Also has Damascus rose oil and bell pepper extract. It does have shea butter. Um, which is rich in fatty acids to soothe and soften the skin and it also has vitamin E to moisturize and protect the skin from free radical damage. It's also the same. It's glowish clean, naturally derived ingredients. It's not animal tested, vegan friendly, G made with post-consumer recycled material and the cartons are also recyclable as well. It uh, has unique baking technology for a smooth creamy like texture, long wearing and fragrance free, defense against digital light rays which cause free radical damage, skin aging, stress, velvety finish with a blurring effect and it has five shades to bronze all skin tones. I have light, medium, and tan light. There is also deep and rich as well. This is what they look like. They honestly look really nice. So this one is light and they do not have any fragrance or anything to it. I really like the packaging a lot. Like the like marbled effect to it and I'll also show you the other ones as well so you guys can see. This one is medium. I think I actually might use this one if light is too light but this one also looks really nice too and then medium or no, this one is tan light. That's what tan light looks like. So those are the three shades that I have. Like I said, there are five shades in total. I really like this packaging. They're like not too, they're actually pretty sleek. You would think like just this packaging kind of looks a little bulky, but it's actually pretty thin. I have swatched these already. Um, I can use fair and fair light. I'm going to be using, I'll put both on so you guys can see. I'm going to be using my brush that I always use for tinted moisturizer, which is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe. Um, complexion number seven brush. I'm going to start off with fair on this side. This looks so light <laughs> next to my face, but I promise it matches. That's the best thing about like light coverage things. It's, you can kind of get away with using different shades. Um, and then I'll put a uh, fair light on this side so you guys can see the difference. I'm going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand. The pump is a really nice pump. Let's pump out a good amount of product as well. Oh, I already have my skin prepped. I just used my Fenty Skin Moisturizer, the Hydrovisor. Um, I feel like I was going to say something and I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I was going to say, when you first apply it, you're like, oh my god, this is super glowy. I did swatch it, like, on my face yesterday to, like, get the shade that I was going to use, like, to make sure I was using the right one. Um, and I was like, oh my god, this is, like, very glowy. But once you kind of, like, blend it out, it's not as, like, intense. Um, because when I first, I was, like, I was a little scared. You guys know I'm not too big on, like, dewy, but I would say it's a more glowy then dewy you know but okay i'm gonna go ahead and apply this and you guys can see it just blends out really nicely and yeah this is definitely light coverage it is buildable but i would still say it's more on the lighter side of it um i mean it is marketed as a light coverage skin tint um but you guys can see it just blends into the skin super easily it's really nice um it does feel lightweight. It's not super, super lightweight, but it's not heavy either. Putting this on this side, and you guys can see it really gives a really nice glow, and it's a pretty glow. It's not like a, like, you have highlighter all over your face glow, you know? Ow, I have a really painful breakout right here on the side of my nose, and it hurts. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, so that is just one layer and it looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and just apply whatever was left on the back of my hand and I'm just going to stipple this on to get a little bit more coverage, but um, you can definitely still see your skin underneath, but that's what the um, fair shade looks like. Then I'm going to go ahead and take fair light on this side so you guys can see. I just took one pump and I'm going to apply that here so you guys can see this one's a little bit more 
warmer, but I can use both shades. So, um, but this one, it definitely, you can see a little bit more of a warmer tone to this side, whereas this one I feel like is a really nice match. But I guess it all is just like personal preference too. Some people want a little bit more of a tan to their face. Um, you guys can see the difference right there. Try to cover up this little breakout right here. Not little because it's pretty big and it hurts. Um, so it does cover up like the redness as well, which I'm very grateful for right now because it's really, it went down a little bit. It was really red last night. So that is the two shades. I think I still like Fair the most, but I can make Fair Light work too. I just wanted to show you guys kind of the difference. Probably will set in this area because you guys know this is like the area where I get a little shiny and I don't really want too much glow in that area. But overall, I mean, I think it looks really nice. I'll put a close up right here on the screen with my phone so you guys can see what it looks like up close and personal. But <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put some concealer on a Fenty Pro Filter um, and I'm going to go ahead and just yeah, I'm going to take this really quick. Just taking a little bit. I'm going to blend that out. I move it around with the brush and then I'll just kind of take my finger. I don't mind super glowy products like this for like an everyday kind of look, you know, like a tinted moisturizer or something. I don't usually like glowy for like when it comes to foundation because like when I'm doing like a full face of makeup, I want more of like a natural finish kind of natural matte but for like skin tins I don't mind like being glowy and stuff you know and I am gonna set that concealer with my Huda Beauty Easy Bake these are the little baby ones they're so cute I'm using the shade Pound Cake because the full size one that I have is banana bread and it doesn't work that well it's a little too dark for me um, so I'm just taking that on my brush to set my under eyes but this is so cute because it has a little like puff in here, but I like to like just apply it with my brush area right here. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of powder right here. I really like how it looks on the nose because I don't even have to like highlight my nose and it gives you that like little button nose effect. So I really like that a lot. So far, I really, really like how it looks. not like overly highlighted, which I like. It just looks like like my skin's glowy. So I'm going to go into the bronzer now. I'm going to actually take medium. I think I'm going to like that one the most. So I'm just going to take um, my normal bronzer brush. This is the Makeup Shack T20 and I'm just going to dip into the bronzer and I'm just going to tap that on like I always do. It gives you like a really nice warmth to the face. So see like, yeah, if I was using like this bronzer, I think I would stick with um, the shade Fair. So I feel like it looks a little bit better on this side than, you know, it just, I don't know. I like the way it looks with the Fair side. Oh, and yeah, I love this. I look super like bronzy. I like it. Blended out really like super easily. And it's not like overly glowy like for a bronzer you know it just gives your face like a really nice natural glow to it without looking like a highlighter you know because sometimes I'll see like bronzers that are like oh it gives like a natural glow and it's like a highlighter um no this one just really is like a really nice blurring effect kind of oh I think it said it was like I had like a blurring effect I think it definitely does it just kind of seamlessly blends into the skin I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll show you guys what it looks like once everything is on I'm not gonna do too much I'm doing like a super natural everyday kind of makeup look so I'll be right back this is what it looks like with the rest of my makeup done when I do wear like a more glowy like complexion product I like to stick with powder everything else so I did use the ColourPop quad like the blush quad um for blush and I think it worked really well with that bronzer I love the bronzer it looks so good um for my brows um I use the Huda Beauty brow, uh, ball brows pencil I also use the Huda legit lashes um this is like my favorite mascara ever um and for my lips I use the Fenty slip shine in retro rose pretty much like my go-to makeup all the time but 
I really like how it looks. I did not put any highlight on because I don't think it needs it. I think that the skin tint really, um, that like glowy effect really shines through and you definitely don't need highlighter. If you want to add it, obviously you can. But for me, I think it looks really good just on its own without anything else. I don't feel like I need to add any highlight. Um, I'm super happy with it. I'll put a little close up right here of how it looks with my phone and stuff. So so far, I love it. I think it looks really pretty and I definitely think this, this is going to be like such a go-to product for a lot of people. Also, especially just with, like with summer coming up too, just lighter coverage and just like natural makeup is definitely going to be like the vibe. So I am going to be doing a wear test. I'm not sure how long of a wear test I'm going to be doing. It doesn't say like it's like 8 hour wear or like 24 hour wear or anything like that. Um, It just says that it's waterproof, sweatproof and stuff. So it isn't too hot today. It's actually like... 60 um, it's like 65 degrees outside today so it's not super hot so i can't really test like the sweat proof also i don't like go anywhere um but for reference just later on when i am checking in it is 109 right now i've had this on for about like maybe 20 25 minutes at this point definitely will check in with you guys in a little bit and i also will give you guys my final thoughts at the end of the day with my final check-in but so far so good so i'll see you guys in a little bit hi guys i wanted to do a little check-in right now it is what time is it right now it's 4 23 sorry that's my work phone but um it's 4 23 so i've had this on for like almost four hours now we're gonna have four hours and i think it still looks really good i also went to starbucks earlier i was wearing a mask and i don't think it really messed anything up um it is kind of warm outside now too and i haven't noticed anything super crazy i will say that i do think that i like the side with um fair I, I feel like you can't really tell too much but like me i can tell on my face this one looks a little bit darker and like a little too warm so i definitely think i think you can kind of tell like in this area um i like the fair one a little bit more but overall i'm still super happy with it i think it looks really good and it's still glowy without feeling gross or like not being like overly dewy i don't think you know how sometimes if you guys have watched any of my like foundation reviews and stuff that I get super shiny in this area and I can usually feel it like feel kind of like oily kind of and it doesn't feel like that like it just looks kind of glowy but not super oily or dewy so I think it still looks really good. My hair is so frizzy. Um, I've been working all day so my like my hair is just a mess and yeah, it is kind of hot now though. It got hot all of a sudden. It looks really good. Still looks pretty fresh. It honestly looks like how it did when I first applied it. Um, and it feels nice on the face. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey or anything. And here's a little close up if you guys want to see. But yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick little check in um, to show you guys what it's looking like. So I will check in with you guys at the end of the day. I'm going to try to do eight hours, but if anything, I might do like seven. <laughs> but um, yeah, so far, so good. I am loving it so far, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, um, my hair is up. I'm in like my comfy clothes now. I just, it's it's one of those days. I feel like it's been the longest week ever and it's literally only Tuesday when I'm filming this. I think it's just with everything going on in my life, I just feel like this week is like never ending and I'm just like over it already. So I wasn't planning on doing an eight hour wear test, but it is literally nine o'clock now. So I've had this on for like, I think over eight hours now and I wasn't planning on doing an eight hour wear test, but when you're just sitting in your thoughts, the time really flies by, I guess. Anyways, this is what it looks like after uh, over eight hours. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Honestly, I was expecting it to look a lot more um, shiny through the day. And I still think it looks pretty much how it did initially. Um, I think maybe it's a little shiny right here, but I don't think it's that bad. It's not like, um, it doesn't look oily. Like that's the thing. Like it doesn't look oily it just looks like you know like a natural glow um i don't i think if you guys have watched any of my other like foundation reviews and stuff i feel like you can tell when it looks oily and like just glowy i think this one just looks glowy in my opinion i said this earlier in my check-in i definitely like the shade fair more than fair light um i can definitely see that fair light looks a lot more warm on this side i again i don't know if it's too noticeable maybe just to anybody else or just like on camera but I can definitely see it in person. I can tell that one side is a lot warmer than the other side. So I will continue to use the shade Fair. So I 
really like it. I love the way it looks through the day. I really want to do something like light and glowy. This is definitely what I would like gravitate towards. I feel like I could even use a little bit less. I could even use like maybe half a pump and spread that out all over and I feel like it would give like a really pretty light um just like a nice glow to the skin without too much coverage because I do like that as well. I like the way it looks. I think it looks really good. I love skin tans. I don't even know if I mentioned this earlier. There is 1.35 fluid ounces in here. Colourpop tinted moisturizer. We have 1.45, so just a little bit more. In the Fenty Ease Drops, we have 1.08 ounces, so a little bit less in Ease Drop. I haven't even talked about the bronzer. I love the bronzer. I honestly was super, super happy with this. Like I said earlier, I'm really picky when it comes to bronzers. This one I really like. This one is definitely warm. It's not going to be like a contour color. Keep that in mind. It gave such a pretty glow to the skin without looking like a highlighter kind of bronzer, you know. This one just makes your skin look healthy. It gives a nice healthy glow. It's not overly glowy and it really just blended into the skin really nicely. And I just became one with the skin. I really liked it. I like the color of it. Again, I used the shade medium. Um, I think tan light might be maybe a little too dark for me. I'm not too sure, but um, medium worked totally fine. It is definitely a warm bronzer though. It gives you like a nice summer glow. I think bro both products are good for every day and then also just for like the summertime coming up. So I am super happy with it. I'm sorry I kind of look like a mess right now, but honestly my life's a mess and this is like an accurate presentation of how I feel. So I think maybe like the next time I use it, maybe I'll just set in this area a little bit more if I don't want it to be as glowy, but again, it's not anything that's really bothering me right now. I like it. I like the coverage on it. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It doesn't feel like I'm like itching to take it off. You know, it feels nice after a long amount of time as well. It also started to get a little hot today. I was outside taking pictures in the sun. I'm so excited to see what else comes from Huda with this more like light kind of natural franchise with glowish so excited to hear your guys' thoughts i know this is like something completely different for huda beauty so let me know in the comments down below are you guys going to pick this up and this does launch on june 1st on the huda beauty website and also at sephora so let me know your guys' thoughts are you guys going to pick this up are you guys going to try it out do you like more light natural coverage um, or do you like more like the full coverage? I'm just super excited because I feel like there is something for like everyone in like Huda Beauty's line now. We have something really light and we have like the foundation stick which is more like medium um, to full coverage. I love the foundation stick. If you guys haven't seen um, my review on that, I'll put it up here in the little eye thing. But um, the foundation stick is so good. That's definitely like more of like a medium medium to full coverage and then we have like the luminous matte which is just like full coverage so I love that there is like something for everyone now. I love that we have bronzers too like powder bronzers because I believe all Huda Beauty has is like the Tantor the cream um, bronzers so that is super exciting but anyways yeah leave me your comments down below i want to hear your guys' thoughts I'll link everything that i use today down below i'll put um some other shade references like in other foundations and stuff if you guys are kind of like confused on what shade to pick up if you guys want to um so i will leave those shade references down below as well as everything else that i'm wearing today so anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video bye